Hey guys, Holbus here, and um, we are going to build something today. I don't really know how to exactly build this lab, but I'm just going to go along with it. So, we've got three high of dark wood. And these are the st we don't need that. We don't need that. We need wooden planks, wooden stairs, wood, dark wood, glass pane, door, a torch. So we've got dark wood, and we're going to build it three high, and we're going to get the light log. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I think it's eleven. I'm not sure. Yeah. Right. Um. So that means right in the middle there should be a double door somewhere. Nope. We need to go twelve. So we're just gonna extend it one. And then we shall bring it forward. Shit, we can't bring it forward. Once again. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's just extend this land. I'll be back in a minute when I've done it. Alright. Alright guys, I'm back now and I've extended the landmass quite a bit into the water as you can see. So let's just carry on. So so far we've got five blocks wide. We're gonna go six, seven, eight. And put three blocks high and go right the way along to that one. Delete it. Put a bit three high. Go along that one. Now we need to find the middle of this. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's five, ten. It's twelve long, I think. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's just delete these middle ones here, apart from these edge ones here. We need them there for the doors. So let's just build this. Let's build the top third layer, which is one, two, three, that one. Because everywhere else we're going to put windows. So it's let some light in, basically. So it will actually be pretty damn light. <laughs> so put that there, that there, that, and that there. We're going to destroy these two blocks here and put wooden blocks there, just so. Not torches. Put doors there, so you'd have to do it in the future. So now let's go ahead and put some glass planes in. Doesn't take long, it's pretty damn simple. And then, now we are going to do the roof. So I'll show you how to do it. So we need one, two, one, two, so it's like that. I don't know if this is a higher or not, but we need it like that. Going three up. Two, three. So it's on the side of the first one you place, on top of it, and then on top of the second one. And then just put them on the sides, and then we shall build across. So I'll show you how to do it on the bottom one, then I'll fast forward the rest because we don't have much time. Now, right, basically do that across on every single one. On it, I'll fast forward it now. Alright, we've finished that now, and now I'm going to show you what to do next. Basically, these three blocks you place there and there. Um, wait first, but we're going to replace them. On the corners, obviously, you put the dark ones, and in the middle, you put the light ones. Like this. And then on the top, we're going to put these blocks, so it, like, it's the same as like this bit. And whenever you're doing a roof, um, I'll show you in a second. It's there's a certain way to make it look better. Otherwise, it if you do it wrong, you get it, your roof's gonna look absolutely terrible. Right.
basically, when you're building it, the long way, like that way there, is longer than that way there. So what you need to do is, on the long part, you need to build across it, facing it. So the stairs are going down across the long bit. You get me. Alright, let's just fill in this hole in the roof. Almost there. Alright. Now we need to oh put the windows in. We need to add the floor. Which we shall do with white wool. You can use different coloured wool if you want. I am not really bothered, that's totally up to you. You can use like red wool for the floor for your bedroom, green wool for the kitchen or whatever you want to build in your house really. <laughs> so but I'm gonna use white wool all the way around because personally I think it looks fuck. There. Um so we're just gonna delete all these blocks and fill it all in. Simple enough. Right then. Don't care if you uh, put block on top of the other because you can just delete it again. Almost there. Halfway there. I'll also show you how to make it so an NPC can live in that house from right then on. Right, so we've done that. So what we're going to need to do is get rid of these. And let's get a bed. We need a bed. We can get a crafting bench, furnace, and a chest. So let's go ahead and put the bed in. Get the chest going. Two chests going. Yep, two chests is fine. I'm just going to get another wood plank and a torch again so I can put it like a bedside thing. What am I doing? Put that, put one on top, put it there, put one on top. So, let's do this. Right, one, two. One, two. One, two. Yeah, uh, craft bench, craft bench. One, two. One, two. So it's like a little chest room kind of thing like a kitchen or whatever you really want to call it so let's go ahead and fix this up here while we can while I just saw it so let's just go ahead and fill all these in and we have almost done uh, after we've done this I'm going to lower the roof one by putting wooden planks across it I fell off my bed <laughs> oh shit Shit, shit, shit. Alright. Stairs. Get wooden stairs again. I broke it. Put a hole in my roof. There we go. Right, let's carry on. Do not right click, left click when you're doing this if that's your attack button because you will put your hole in your roof and you'll have to go back outside to fix it and that gets really annoying. So let's just fill the rest of this in. Just need to lower it down one because it looks just way too high. I like the line separating from the log to the stairs because the stairs is the texture of the wooden planks. They should do like a texture of the stair for the logs so it like blends in. Right, um, let's go ahead and just put a torch down there for now. So now we shall go ahead and make something. We shall need pressure plate or wooden pressure plate and a fence. Let's build it up against it. Let's put two there. Stone slab, stone slab, 
Let's get... Let's get a wooden chair. Yeah, let's get a wooden chair. And then let's get a sign. So we can put one there. Nope, one there. One there. One there. One there. Alright. Wait, no, we can't put that there. Let's just put one there. And one there. Alright. Now we've got like a dining table thing. Close the door. Take the daytime as well. Um, so this is basically your simplest house built, really. It's got lots of room, chairs, furnace, everything else. I will now show you how to make it so an NPC can live in it. Basically, you need to be in creative mode or use too many items over here and get the spawn villager egg. You can spawn anywhere, day or night. Don't know if your doors have to be closed, but one sec, my girlfriend's calling. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> um, basically, it can be day or night, and don't really matter. I prefer it to be day because it's just lighter, really. <laughs> so basically, put one down, and it is now living in that house next to it. Basically, when it turns night, because the zombies in the village have, have like, like, stop running away. They have like a siege at night. They like have wars. So let's turn it night. Should run into their house. Run, villager, run, run. And now you have like a little friend buddy in your house. You can like play around with. Alright guys, that's the rest of this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.